Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Strange. This is Ashleta, and if you're new here, hi. I like meeting new people. I have an autoimmune disease called dermatomyositis with male pulmonary involvement. So, um, with the treatments and the strong dosages of prednisone, I am very swollen. I've gained a lot of weight in the past year. Not even a year. Like, less than a year. Eight months. <clears throat> and I also have to wear gloves. So, I'm just um, wanting to play with some makeup today. I ain't got nowhere to go. You know. But here. Just here at YouTube. That's it. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. I've been watching these K-Beauty um, girls do their makeup and stuff. And they don't even have to set their skin with any powder. So, but I noticed that they always, majority, do like the concealer um, under the eyes. I mean, they highlight first before they do foundation. So, we're going to try that. I don't know why I put that down right here. I don't ever do that. I don't recall seeing anyone doing that either, but it's here now, huh? Oh, and they use, um, what the hell do they use? These sponges. <clears throat> so I wet my sponge and we're going to see how this rolls. I have a bunch. I have some wet and some dry. And then I noticed they used a very sheer light amount of makeup. I'm trying to decide um, what I'm going to use. I think I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to mix these two. And they're LA Girl Pro Coverage HD. So I'm just going to do a pump of each color on this sponge because I noticed they did a light amount of um, I do too white a very sheer amount of foundation oh my goodness my lid was trying to pop off so I don't even worry about mixing I'm just going to put in some of these Areas. I did notice that it is taking quite a lot of time to blend this out. So, with this little sponge. Or did they use a brush? Oh, you know what? I think they used, she used a brush and then a sponge. Okay. That's what she did. So, we're swapping to a brush. And then we'll hit it back with a sponge. All right, and we're just going to go back and, you know, take out any stroke streaks. So, bear with me. All right, and then I noticed that they bronzed, like, with a liquid, and it was very dark. So, I'm going to do the same using this, and I'm going to hope for the best. And then she used a cream blush. So I'm gonna try this wet mop blush too. And I noticed that she'll do this and then she'll take her little foundation brush and kind of just blend it, which I think I just got too much. All right, so I'm going to take this primer, I think it's a primer, in Illuminating by Wet n Wild. And I'm just going to take this side. I may need more than that. I think so. Yeah, I'm going to do this amount. And I'm just going to go right here. Do 
two right here. And then they did a, their foreheads a little different than mine. Let's see, with a mirror. Now, I haven't set my, gosh, that was like a streak. I haven't set my face yet. Um, even the concealer under my eyes, because honestly, I don't even think those little heifers even did either. Okay. <clears throat> and they just went in. So, now I'm going to do this hydrating concealer on, um, oh, you know what, I did, they do brows. Alright, I'll be back. No, I shouldn't. Should I? Should I? Should I? Yeah, let me do this. I'm going to use this as a um, eyeshadow base. And honestly, I've already got too much. Because those gals didn't do all this. So, I'm take this and just dot it over the best I can. Alright, before my concealer... Um, creases. I'm mixing this shade and this shade. And I'm just going to put it right through. I'm just going to pat it. My bad. I'm going to pat it over my eye real quick. Then they take like a pencil brush, but I don't, I don't have one. But I'm going to use this camel looking color. And they basically just put it on there bottom lid almost like this with like a little pencil brush and um, I don't do liner very well so we're just gonna do the best and I don't have the same eye shape either so let's see how this works out all right, so I did like a little bit of a liner, but I'm gonna take this in my crease a little bit, a little bit, not really crease, but just a little bit above where I had the other color. I guess like ombre it up, you know? And then I noticed that you'd like to use like a pop of some kind of color on the bottom. So I'm just taking where you can see where I dug it in right here, that color. And we're just gonna try to roll it and see. Um, we're gonna have to fix the situation underneath my eyes. I don't know how they do all that color with the fallout. So I'm gonna have to sweep it. But they didn't powder it. So what I'm gonna do is they use like a very illuminating looking powder. I'm going to use, what is this? Cover of X Illuminating Setting Powder. But I'm going to have to re-conceal my under eyes and try this again. I'm just going to do a little. And I'm using a Boing uh, by the Bronx Collection. Um, Boing. Boosting Hydrating Concealer. My bad. Can't really see that pop of color. Maybe I should add some purple in there. I found my pencil brush. The real, the real deal. I think I'm going to go with this bright purple for once. Just for shits and giggles and see how that goes. They also take like a glitter, but I don't have a glitter. So I'm just gonna wet one of these colors with my spit. And do the best I can. Let's see. I would show you how I apply, but I can't see. Maybe I need to go lighter. Let's try that. Feel you can go all the way out. So, 
Why would I just put my eyeball? Did that work? Well, that comes out looking orange. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna do my brows. Um, they use big ass pencils like this. So, we're gonna try it and hope for the best. Um, so far, everything has been hoping for the best. Oh yeah, they did use um, like this um, under the eye. Let me do that real quick. And then I noticed that they did like in a corner. All right, back to the eyes. <clears throat> and I'm gonna use this NYX Chromatic uh, Duo Chromatic Illuminating Powder in the color Snow Rose. I always want to say Snow Bunny. I want to put this in my enter in a corner right here um these girls hey must got all the time in the world because this is taking me like five hours all right now i'm going to officially highlight and the chick that i was watching actually used um a, something similar to this so so am i um we're gonna be careful on the nose. I just want it right in here. And then she went ham right here. All right, and I'm gonna take this blush um, called Dolce or Dolce Pink by Milani, and I'm just gonna use another little sponge like them gals did. And this is a very illuminating blush, but you know, they have that glass skin glow. Ooh, they got that glass skin baby doll look going on. So that's what we're trying today. Um, I did, I, yeah, I only set my under eyes around my pig snout, my upper lip, my chin, and a little bit on my forehead with the um, setting powder from Cover FX. But I gotta, I gotta chill this day on. Let me spray a little setting spray. Cause I don't even see them doing that. But honey, I have, I don't know. This is taking longer than my little 15, 20 minutes to get ready for work. I'm almost out of setting spray, so I need some. And um, all of this for a wet skin look. We'll see when I get my finish my brows and my lips, my lashes. Let's try this lip color. It's by So Susan. It might not. I don't know if I want that color. One moment. All right, so I'm just gonna put gel in my eyebrows. And I'm gonna use this, oh gosh, Dirty Mascara One Curler. <gasps> Honey, that's all I'm like, take it and do. I thought they are gonna rip out their eyelashes. I'm not gonna put any eyelashes on. So I'm just gonna do mascara. All right, so the girl, I got my lashes mascara on. Um, I used Thrive and I did bottom lash mascara, which I no normally never do. Um, far as contour powder, I never saw the girl do any, so we skipped it. But I'm gonna try this baby pink looking, I don't know, nude. Um, here. Cause it looked like she had two different kind of lipsticks on. And I hope that didn't cover up that, um, lip highlight not really and so then we're gonna take this this is my color pop and just kind of do it in the inside not exactly the colors but but her 
upper lip was really glistening. And this is also, by, this is Neat Freak by ColourPop. So, I don't know if this helped it, but, <clears throat> so, this is how you look, finger look, looking good. Like, honey, you just got through eating the whole 20 piece meal and you done smeared that grease all over your face. Um, actually, it's cute. Um, it's a lot, a lot of work. Um, it's a lot of work, but it's pretty. I don't know about all this right here though. That kind of looks like a hot mess, but it's not for me. Definitely not a look for me. Definitely for someone who is younger, but if you're trying to look younger, girl, this really made me look older. Let's just fix that. Oh Lord, I just can't fix it. Um, but if you're younger and you know, you can pull this off, then do it. I can't, but it's not ugly. It just doesn't work for me. Maybe I'm not used to it. Something like that. Um, it isn't a lot of powder, but it is a lot of work. Um, I would not be able to wear this to work, but I might be able to do like, I don't know, one summer not Eve type style. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, like, subscribe, comment, and share. Love you guys. Good night.